this is depressing. <laughs> My umbrella is gonna break. Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's episode is a walk and talk, and I'm gonna be walking in the rain because I've been waiting for the rain to stop, but it doesn't. So it's gonna be some beautiful scenery. And I wanna talk about self care and how it's a lie. So let's jump right in. <laughs> trying, to, uh, trying to organize holding this umbrella in the wind and the. What the? Lovely. Okay, this is not the best idea. Oh my gosh. I drove out here to Toadstool Geological Park. I got here last night. It was pouring rain, so I was like, I'll just stay the night and stay here at this campground. It's only $15 a night and I've never done that before. So it was peaceful. And I said, oh, <laughs> this is not a great idea. Anyways, I said I was going to go take this one mile hike this morning when it wasn't raining and I've been waiting all day. It's still raining. There's a giant puddle. But I am wearing my water shoes from my good friends at Seekway. They sent me these for free and they are actually very comfortable. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can get 20% off. So I said I was gonna take this walk in the morning and it's like one o'clock and it's just gonna keep raining. So I'm not gonna miss out. I'm gonna go take this walk. But ah! the topic for today is self-care. Recently, I realized I needed a break because my oh whoa it's like a rolling rapids of riverhood recently I needed a break because I was spinning my wheels trying to make too much content all the time and I just couldn't catch a breath and so I decided to get a hotel room for a few days and it really did make a huge difference I didn't want to spend the money because when you do YouTube, it's like being in car sales, you work off commission. And sometimes it's not really commission, it's ad revenue, but sometimes it's up and sometimes it's down and there's no predicting it. So right now the money's down. So I was not going to get a hotel, but my friend encouraged me. She's like, you can always make more money. I was like, you're right. Let me just do it because right now I can't even think clearly to make great content. So I got this hotel and it came with free breakfast. So that saved some money and it got me off the road for a while so i wasn't spending money on gas so in essence i wasn't spending the most money and it was a mid-level hotel but as soon as i walked in the door i felt a calm come over me i could just spread out a little bit now the only thing i didn't like is that the top sheet of the comforter was stained so i was like yo so i went down to my van and got my own comforter and squishy pillow that i love and used that on the bed instead and then i felt more cozy like i was at home make sure no one's following me ah! oh! the room came with a king size bed and it was so luxurious i jumped in that bed rolled around in it rolled up in my comforter i ate a lot of food in bed i watched a lot of netflix i did try to watch the tv because i haven't watched tv in a long time then i remembered how many commercials are on tv so I quickly turned that off and went back to Netflix and Hulu and all the things. Oh boy, this is super muddy. I'm slipping all over the place. Okay. Uh, I did do a little work in the room, but as soon as I felt myself getting all amped up, like I got to do this and that and this and that, I just shut the computer and moved on. The other thing is their breakfast was from 6 to 9 a.m. On the website it said 10, but they didn't have enough staff, so it closed at 9. So every morning I would set my alarm at like 8.15, 8.30. Go down, get some breakfast, bring it back to the room, which had a microwave and went back to sleep. And then later on, I just opened the shades, microwave my food and eat in bed. And it was pretty luxurious. My feet are completely muddy right now. Okay, this probably isn't the best idea. I'm sinking in the mud. My shoes are falling off. I will say that these shoes are holding up pretty well though, but every step is sinking deeper. So, ah, my shoe almost came off. Oh boy. Okay, listen, 
I'm doing this video for you. <laughs> you may not have asked for it, but I'm still doing it. I'm out here in this rain. So please put a like on this video. And also, if you're not already subscribed, it's a fun channel. Become part of the snack pack by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. And keep watching till the end so that you'll see if I make it to the toadstool formations or not. Okay, I can't focus doing this. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is as far as I'm going to be able to go today, which totally sucks because I drove here to see the toadstool formations, but here we go. I guess this is the only one I'm going to be able to see. Which is a fat bummer because this whole trail is just, oh, fudge balls. Because this whole trail is just mud and water. And my umbrella sucks. It's a beautiful thing. Also, I don't know how I'm going to clean these shoes. Oh boy. Okay, this sucks. <sighs> Well, that's gross. <laughs> I can't get this off my shoes. Mm. Okay, I'm walking back. Okay, so you're probably wondering, well, how can you say that self-care sucks when you just took some time for self-care? To me, the whole self-care movement isn't so much about... I'm slipping and sliding. Whoa, 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 whoa. The whole self-care movement as a whole that you see on social media is a lie. The premise is that you should take care of yourself first above anyone else, and you should be doing things that feeds your soul, like take a bath, read a book, get a massage, eat your favorite food, and all those things in, in and of itself is awesome. But the problem with that is that people are making that their whole life's religion. And the problem with that is they're doing it questioning all my life choices at this point. They're doing it to the detriment of everyone else around them. So a lot of times I hear the analogy, you know, it's like when you're in an airplane and you got to put your mask on first. Yeah, but what you're doing is you're putting your mask on, taking it off, putting your mask on, taking it off, and then you look over and the person next to you or the people next to you are struggling to breathe because everyone's trying to put their own mask on and not helping each other. Why do you think the world is so much more isolated, so much more depressed? This is depressing. <laughs> My umbrella is gonna break. <laughs> At least this will be a fun video to watch. <laughs> the world is so much more isolated, so much more depressed, so into themselves that we've forgotten how to take care of each other. And in taking care of each other, we are fed as well. That's the way it used to be and that's the way that it should be. Nobody's saying that you can't take care of yourself and you should, you should take a break when you need a break. But this constant, religion of self has got to stop. It's not working. If it was working, we'd have so many more flourishing people in the world. But everybody I talk to is like, I feel lonely. I feel depressed. I'm anxious. I can't catch a break. I can't breathe. People on social media are like, the solution is just self-care. Take care of yourself. That's not the solution. I know this is not a popular opinion, but if you really just think it through, if it was working, people would be happier and nobody's really that happy. And I'm not happy because my feet are wet and muddy. And I didn't get to see all the toadstool formations and my umbrella is going to break. So there's that. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. Here's some other formations. Barely. I could barely see them up there, but I mean, it's all we're going to get because it's muddy. What I'd like to start seeing is people taking care of themselves, but also taking care of other people, reaching out, making sure everybody else is doing well. And in serving others, you serve yourself. It's kind of a little selfish and it kind of lends to self-care, but it's not so selfish that you're only thinking of yourself because it's a never ending loop of, oh, I just got to take care of myself. I got to cancel these plans. I got to do this for myself. I got to do this. And everyone's doing that and no one's being taken care of. And actually I stayed, I think three or four nights in that hotel 
And then I got back on the road. I felt so much more refreshed and I came here and I was like, okay, I'm just going to come to this Toadstool Park, take a hike and stay for like an hour. And then I'm going to get back on the road and drive three hours and then edit some videos. Even when I took my break, it didn't get through. It didn't sink in. Self-care will continue and continue and continue. So instead of just focusing on your needs, think about surrounding yourself with community. And in doing so, you'll care for yourself as well. And what's being doing? I also got some cookies. I also had, and then I started looking up a hotel, looking up, ho and then I started looking up hotels and was like, and then I started looking up hotels and also when I, when I, the only, the only one, there was a couple. Oh my gosh. Should I film this? Can I, where can I find a good wife? Where can I, uh... <laughs> Snack time. Snack time.